So possibly like the magazine cover images of the Vietnam War, the, the single arresting image, the large scale visual. The idea that uh, should you take a person and increase them in scale, there's a natural desire as, as a human to explore them with your eyes, discover what's unique about them in, in their oversized state. What started to formulate in my mind and what the guys immediately started sparking of was that these characters that emote at a depth of detail and uh, emotional intent like nothing we'd undertaken before. What fascinates me about this exhibition is it's personality driven and so just simply walking around and seeing each of the personalities is a wow uh, and then you suddenly realize that that's simply an introduction to a story to try and capture a, a, an exact representation of the person was beyond challenging and in some ways inappropriate. We therefore made the decision to do a nationwide casting call to find the people that best represented the photographs of the soldiers and of Lottie. We photographed them, we digitally scanned them, we then face cast them, we arm cast them. We built up a significant library of artifacts that represented that individual reenacting this historical person. We then clean up the scans in the 3D department and then we set to task one of our larger 3D printers. It builds a three-dimensional replica of the different components then begins the process of sculpting. And when you look at the sculptures, you'll appreciate the depth of focus required to sculpt every detail that is in the human face and body. The sculpture then goes into the mold shop and we undertake a process called a silicon matrix mold. Into this, you pour the silicon that replicates the human skin and then into the paint shop. The paint shop is where we do all of the painting of our silicon sculptures. The sculpture moves through to the hair department. It requires us to put stubble actually into the face, one hair at a time. And when all that is done, and we finally assemble the object, those components will hopefully look real. Even though we tried to cast Lottie, from New Zealand, we ultimately chose a woman in our workshop. Quite often technicians get pulled into various shoots for reference for lots of different projects here. That's what happened with Lottie. I just got pulled in and I seemed to be a fairly good match. So I ended up becoming this. The clothing was as complex and in some cases more complex to make as the silicon components within these giants. Showing these soldiers at scale and sharing the intent of these people give them presence and power and cause a moment of reflection. As an audience member, you can view and become engrossed in and engage with at maybe a level that you never could a one-to-one -one scale mannequin. For the first time, really, we are honoring that generation on a scale that they deserve.